Hi, this is the second part of the tutorial where I'm creating a walk and a run cycle for a simple rig. This is how I left it off. We're in uh, the dope sheet view, dope sheet window. Within that, we're in the action editor. Uh, I'd created the walk cycle. There are the keyframes of the walk cycle. I'm pressing Alt and A. There's the walk cycle. Alt and A to stop it. Okay, I'd click the plus sign to create a new action and I'd name that action run and there we are now ready to create the keyframes of the run cycle. Okay, now there's many ways to make a run cycle but I'm gonna, for this simple rig, just use the same method I did for the walk cycle. So we're gonna start with a, an open stride pose. Before I do that, I need to, with all the bones selected, remove any pose left over from the walk cycle, clear transform location, pose, clear transform rotation. Okay, I'm in frame one, so I'm gonna do my pose. Uh, this is the control bone for the near leg. I've selected it, I'm pressing G to grab, and moving the leg, striding forward, thigh bone roughly parallel to the ground. Select the control bone for the far leg, G to grab, and striding out. Now I'm going to select the backbone, R to rotate. I'm going to rotate that quite a long way forward so the backbone's sort of in a line with that thigh bone there. I'm going to select the neck bone, R to rotate, rotate that back a bit. Select the head, R to rotate, rotate that back a bit so it sees where he's going. Now, with the near leg uh, striding forward, the near arm needs to go back. So I'm pressing uh, G to grab, and I'm going to put the upper arm roughly parallel with the ground, maybe into the body just a little bit, grab. And the far arm needs to come forward, so G to grab, bring that forward. Again, the upper arm roughly parallel with the ground and maybe in just a little bit, G to grab. Okay, now he's a, quite a long way off the ground. You have to decide, do you want a sort of bouncy run or more of a in contact with the ground run? Uh, I'm going to move him down just a shade. I'm pressing G to grab. Z for the Z direction. I'm just going to move him down just a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with that pose now. So I select all the bones, press A twice, and in key in frame one, insert location rotation. I'm going to copy the pose. I'm going to go to frame 20 and insert keyframes available. And then I'm going to go to the middle of the cycle, frame 10. And here I'm going to paste the pose, X flipped. Pose, paste X flipped. And remember to insert your keyframes, insert available, uh, rewind and play. So he's above the ground doing a sort of Groucho Marx walk. Uh, but it's a start. So if I pause that. Okay, we need an intermediate pose where the rig makes contact with the ground. So I'm going to go to frame 5. I'm going to grab the near leg. G to grab and bring that down ready to make contact with the ground. Now, uh, I want the lower leg perpendicular to the ground, uh, but I'm going to move the whole rig down to make contact with the ground. So I'm pressing G to grab and Z for the Z direction. Bring that down so it just touches the ground. And then I'm just gonna pose the far leg so it looks more natural. G to grab, something like that. Okay, press A twice to select all the bones. I'm in frame five, insert available. I'm gonna copy that pose, go to frame 15 Paste the pose 
X flipped and insert keyframes available rewind and play and there is a very basic run cycle so let's pause that okay now we've got a walk cycle and a run cycle what are we going to do with them well I could uh, go into the nonlinear editor and uh, snowflake them and manipulate them there but I've already done a tutorial on that so I'm not going to do that I could go into the blender game engine and use the stored actions there but again I've done a tutorial on that so I'm not going to do that either I'm just going to get him to run along uh, using the dope sheet so the first thing I'm going to do is click this button here which says display number of users of this data click to make a single user copy now what that has done is um, before I click the plus to create a new action and that created a, a blank new action this has duplicated the run action and called it run 001 now I'm going to edit this and I'm going to call it run repeating okay now I'm going to duplicate the keyframes but I'm not going to duplicate all of them because uh, column 20 is identical to column 1 and I don't want to have both of them repeating so I'm going to press B for box select I'm going to select all the keyframes except for uh, in keyframe 1 I'm going to press shift and D to duplicate and now I've got a duplicate set of keyframes now because the run cycle lasts 20 I can line it up so that ends on 40 and if I make this a bit bigger maybe zoom out just a little bit uh, I can shift and D again and again line that up with 60 and I can shift and D again and line that up with 80 and on I can go duplicating uh, the keyframes down the timeline and that's my run repeating there's the keyframes on the timeline now all I want to do is uh, when he's running he's going to cover a lot of distance quickly so I'm just going to have a short animation of 60 frames you could have it repeating all the way down the timeline just set the length to what you want I'm going to zoom out in the top view and in the side view uh, I'm going to pop into object mode and move the whole armature and press G to grab and Y for Y direction and move him back and go to frame one remember to go to frame and I'm going to insert uh, a location keyframe there then I'm going to go to frame 60 I'm going to G to grab Y in the Y direction move him down and insert a location keyframe there Okay, it doesn't need to be available because I'm moving the whole armature. I'm not posing the bones. And let's rewind and play that. And off he goes. Um, needs a bit of fine tuning, matching the speed of the run to the speed of uh, the distance he's covering. But for a basic, getting a simple figure to run that's it okay thanks for watching I'll put the beginning file and end file at my website freemovies.co.uk the blender channel there uh, thank you and